from the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE. Covering CloudNow's seventh annual Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Hi, Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Facebook headquarters. We're here with the CloudNow Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards, their seventh annual. We're here with one of the award winners, Catherine Costariva, the founder and CEO of BPM Online. Catherine, it's great to have you here. It's an honor to be here. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the CloudNow Award, but also you are no stranger to awards. Even in 2018, you were named one of the top 50 SaaS CEOs for 2018, not just female CEOs, CEOs. That's a pretty big honor as well. Thank you. So BPM Online, I want folks to understand um, not just your career path, but also that you're pretty persistent and bold. BPM Online is a very successful and well-known business in Europe. Right, right. Founded in 2002 with five yeah. people. 16 years ago. 16 years ago. Bootstrapped. Bootstrapped by yourself. And here you are, recently moved to the US, and you're basically kind of startup in the US. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about that story, what, what you grew as a female leader in Europe, and the impetus to say we can do more and bring the business to the United States. Absolutely, would love to tell you the story. So 16 years ago, we built this company, uh, bootstrapped it, no mo no investors, no friends and family money, just, just from zero, from scratch. And have successfully grown the business until uh, we started to hear from our customers who were large global organizations using our software in Europe. We started to hear hey guys, why we don't know you in the United States? Why our headquarters doesn't know your name? And then we started to talk to Gartner and Forrester and they said exactly the same. Your technology is so amazing and right now we are included in five Gartner magic quadrants and five Forrester waves and technology is amazing, but why you are not here in the United States? So eventually I moved to the United States with some of my peers and we started to build our office in Boston. It happened three years ago. So right now we feel our ourselves like a startup here in Boston while back uh, like several years ago in Europe and right now actually in Europe this is a strong mature company with 500 people on in the company working in the company in six offices and business process automation CRM yes well known in Europe tell us about why did you select Boston and not come out here to Silicon Valley when you decided <laughs> to move out here <laughs> that's a great question and I have a very easy answer to this question as we have so many customers partners and actually team members in Europe um, we just wanted to find something with the shortest time zone like t time difference right so the difference between Europe and Boston is five to seven hours while here it's additional plus three hours uh, so my day usually starts with Europe so when I start working around 7 a.m. in the morning I work with Europe then I work with the United States and then in the evening I start working with APAC with Asia with Australia because we have our office in Australia as well so we have our customers and people working in Australia so this is my evening evening hours oh my goodness <laughs> so here you are being recognized tonight as a female entrepreneur, um, tell us about your inspiration and what has kept you persistent. Being a female in technology is challenging, and we all know that, and for many reasons. Um, hopefully one day it won't matter, gender, but it does. What are some of your recommendations for not only founding a company and, and really kind of harnessing that persistence, but also growing a culture that supports diversity that understands and embraces change? This is a great question. Um, honestly, for me, those are my customers and that what I would recommend all women and female and male entrepreneurs to talk more to their customers because when you and your customers have the same vision about how to develop the company, how to develop the product, it, it inspires you. You just, you, you move on, you want to develop, you want to, to develop more. And, and uh, just to give you an example, both our customers and our team, we believe that organization just can't have excellent customer relations without very holistic uh, 
business processes beneath. So we believe that organization, if we are talking about mid-sized and large organizations, they need to have holistic processes first. And then based on these processes, they're gonna, gonna have great customer relations. So this is kind of our vision and, and, and our mission. And that's what our customers share with us. And that what is, inspires me to move on and on and, and, and um, develop new products for our customers. Well, Catherine, congratulations on the Cloud Now Award win. Thank Thanks so much for joining us on the program and we hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for your time. Honored to be here. Our thank pleasure. You. We want to thank you for watching. I'm Lisa Martin for theCUBE at Facebook headquarters. We'll see you next time.